Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm here to do a colouring book and supplies haul. Um, if you can hear the baby upstairs, I've put her to bed. It's gone nine and she's not crying. She's trying to get my attention, but I'm trying to let her go to sleep. She will eventually. So I've got a few books and some supplies. So I'm just going to show them. This is just an off-branded pencil sharpener that I bought. It's a battery operated one. Um, it seems to work okay. Um, I haven't tried it with my coloured pencils yet. It's got obviously a small hole and a bigger hole for bigger pencils, which is great. Um, so I'm going to give that a try, possibly when I'm doing my next colour and chat, which I admit is late this week. I've not been well again. So that was the first thing I got. The second thing I got was these Stedlitter metal pencil sharpeners. Now I've actually got six because they came in packs of two, so I didn't notice it, so I ordered three packets. Um, two of them are upstairs in case I want to colour if I can't sleep at night. Now, really I bought these for when I go on holiday because I'm going on holiday soon and I plan on taking some colouring books with me. Well, two. And um, some colouring pencils. I've decided on the Black Widow set, I think. I think that's what I'm going with. Yeah. And I needed some pencil sharpeners to take. So that's why I got those. On to the next set of the haul. So to go with the Black Widow, I have bought... The Black Widow Skin Tones Light Tones. I haven't bought the Dark Tones yet. I will be getting those soon. And I, as you can see, I haven't taken them out yet. So why there's a yellow, I don't know. I guess it's for blending. I don't know. And they've got their usual funny colours like Merc and Eggshell and Saffron and Pretty Pink. So I will be playing with those along with the other ones. But... As I plan on taking Halloween books, because we're going on holiday at some point in October, it doesn't really matter what kind of the skin tones are, because they're going to be quite um, grimy and bleh. So that's that one. Looking forward to trying those out and getting the dark tones. Um, I also got for my... What's going to be my colouring budget uh, haul um, video s series, which I'm going to start soon. Um, some... 36 WH Smith watercolour pencils. Now I like this because each of their tins or boxes has a little saying on it. And this one says, colour makes my heart sing. So there's 36 watercolour pencils in here. Now these ones, they don't have numbers or colours on them. It's just a plain barrel. It just says, just add water. But I'm going to give them a go and see what happens. Um, and these cost for £36, £7.49, if I remember rightly. Now, they were in the sale. They were half price. Um, but it's just so even, you know, at £16, they're not, or £14, £15, they're not that expensive. So I want to see how they go. But obviously, if you wait for the sales, you will get them at a better price. And then I also got the WH Smith's 48 normal colouring pencils. 48 was the highest the biggest set they had and again they don't have any names on them and these are um, hexagonal barrels and the watercolours are round barrels but there's a nice selection of colours I'm not going to be able to get this out I'm going to have to get a, a pencil case for them so as you can see there so there's a lot of blues and uh, in there which is nice and it's a good set there's like four purples which is unusual because purples Quite an expensive colour for it. So I don't know what these are like. I've not used them yet. But we will be using those in a video shortly. So those are all the supplies I've got. I don't buy a lot of supplies these days. Because I've just got so much. That I don't use half of it. But on to the books. I've got quite a stack of books here. So let's just get through them. So the first one I've got is Favourite Ballet's Colouring Book. This is by Dover. Um, Brenda Snedden Mattox is the artist. So in this one, we've got various ballets and it tells you what they are. For instance, that's Don Quixote. I don't know what's going on with the light in this room today. It looks very blue. Uh, this one is Giselle and so on. Now, when they advertise it, they show this as the cover, but it's not. And that's why I liked it. And that's from the Firebird. I just think it's so beautiful. So that's the first one. I got uh, another Dover publication, but this one's actually a Creative Haven one. Oh, is it going to focus? And it is, if you have to excuse me, it's because I'm at a funny angle. Enchanted Fairies Colouring Book, Barbara Lanza. 
I do like these Dover colouring books. They are very inexpensive. They in the UK they're around three ninety nine. The pictures are gorgeous. They're single sided and perforated. So if you wanted to take them out, you could. But you don't have to. But I really, really like them. There's just a few. Now, if you want to see any flip throughs of the books I'm showing, just leave me a comment down below. And I will, of course, um, do one. I have the Jade Summer Masks colouring book. I've seen this on somebody else's channel and I thought, oh, I like that. I've got to get it. So there's the front and the back. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to colour it all the masks in, but I will certainly do a few of them. Like that one. I mean, it's quite simple. So they're not too complicated. Sometimes you don't want complicated. You just want to do something that's quick and simple. I love that one. I will definitely be doing that one. And I'll probably just um, paint a black background or colour a black background or something. Unless I'm putting a lot of black on it and then they'll have a, say, a yellow one or something like that. That's an awesome one as well. I like that one. So that's masks. Then I've got a few Jade Summers. I think there's four. I got Unicorns Volume 2. I don't have Volume 1, so why I picked Volume 2, I don't know. I must have liked, liked the cover picture. Unicorns, I'm, I'm not big on, but I just wanted a unicorn book. Because I figured with some of these, I can colour them. And then if Jennifer wants to colour them later, she can colour them as well when she's older. So, sorry about the angle. So, that one. Then I have got Jade Summer Light Fantasy. This is the... Um, line art one not the grayscale i just don't like grayscale very much so i'm not going to bother and then you've got i don't like all the pictures i'm not big on fancy i do like that one i'm not big on dragons but i really like the cute baby dragons so but i don't know which ones i'm going to do that one i like yeah so some of them are really lovely that's a nice one yeah, so there's some really nice ones in Light Fantasy. I, yeah. There is one more Jade Summer, but it's a Halloween one, so I'll show you that at the end. I finally, and I don't know why I haven't done it so till now, picked up Fairy Tales by Emily Lidhull Oberg. Whether or not it's because it was really expensive or I just didn't fancy it, I'm not sure. But I picked this up because it was quite inexpensive. It was only a few pounds. And I quite I like this one. Um, yeah, so I do quite like some of the pictures, so I will be colouring in it. I just don't, again, I don't know when. And then next I picked up two Johanna Bassfords this month. World of Flowers, which is her newest one. I know she's got a new one coming out, which is Learn to Draw Inky Stuff, but I'm not ever going to be able to draw. So I'm not going to be buying that one. It's not something that would interest me. My brothers are fantastic at drawing. Um, my artistic qualities lie in singing and acting <laughs> rather than drawing. But I do like her artwork. So when it is a colouring book, I will pick it up. I've got so many that need work in that I haven't done anything in at all. And I finally picked up the last one, the one I didn't have, which is Magical Jungle. So I've got all the colouring books now, like I said, apart from the one that hasn't come out yet, which is more of a learn to draw. I know there are bits of drawing in some of these, but you don't have to do that. And I'm, I'm glad I've got them all now. I like these. Now, are they parrots? Are they lovebirds? I don't know, but I think they are cute. So hopefully soon I'm going to be filming in my spare bedroom where I've got a better lighting system. Because um, I have a lighting system for my photography and my eBay for photographing stuff. I've got proper daylight lamps. I've got a daylight bulb in my main light. So the lighting will be much better. So I'm just waiting for my shed to be completed so I can move some all the junk out of that bedroom and into the shed. And then it'll free it up to do, I can do colouring videos up there, which will be a lot easier. I won't have a table, but I can certainly fashion one. Um, Lola's Ladies, a 1930s fashion adult colouring book. This is by Lola Mayer. And now Lola Mayer was an artist in the 1930s. And 
these are drawings that she made in the 1930s and but they've added backgrounds to them um, 32 original designs 44 pages to color so these are absolutely fantastic if you love the 30s so the original design would be the the lady in the outfit and then they've put a background in oh that is stunning so I'd say that's one of the new ones because the, the, she did um, ladies fashion so that's stunning very very Hollywood oh that's good as well so yeah that says on the corner Lolo Mayer 1932 so it's got the date that they were drawn as well so that's why I picked it up I thought it looked fantastic so if you want a complete flip flip through I might do that one anyway put that out of the way next we're moving on to the last four books which are all Halloween horror related ready for next month we've got The Horror Hotel by A.M. Shah Welcome to the Horror Hotel, no vacancy. In the luscious gardens of Coral Gables, Florida, lies a hidden gem. Once called the Horror Hotel during the early 1900s, it's now a fully renovated and open to the public. Sit back, relax and tune out as you can colour some of the creepiest, disfigured and demonic creatures that the Horror Hotel has to offer. The inner details of each illustration will appear as you are witnessing the brutal massacres conducted by the Suicide Squad from the early 1900s. Dare to stare if you can, but beware as you may find yourself checking in to the Horror Hotel with no way out and no vacancies. Now, this book has been out for a while. I've had it in my cart for ages. I thought I'd pick it up. This is one of the ones that's going on holiday with me. Um, so, more about my uh, October colouring when I see it. So, it says 99 pages or less. There are some fantastic pictures. I don't know if there's uh, flip-throughs on this. I'm picking up all the creepy clowns, but I will be doing a flip-through on this. You will be seeing that shortly. I already know which picture I want to do first. If I can find it, I will show us another creepy clown. And it's this one of the girls, the, the corpse sunbathing by the pool. So I'm going to do the pool, which is this bit here. I believe it's a pool. It looks like a pool. Yeah, there's a diving board at the end. I am totally going to do that as a blood filled pool because you know what? It's got to be done. So I will do a full through crew of that later. I had to pick up, of course, Anne and Robert, The Beauty of Horror 2. I don't have The Beauty of Horror 1, but I wanted to pick up number 2 because I know that John, the bibliophile colourist, is going to be reading uh, reading coloring from this book and he's going to be doing the shining picture there's a picture at the back based on the shining this towards the back which is this one the, the twins um, and I wanted to join in and color with that as well it is very much like the twins in the shining but I'm pretty sure you've all seen this one it's pretty gruesome not the sort of book I would normally pick up but there are some really good pictures in it I know he was saying about the, the Ouija board that um, he wasn't keen on it and his mother doesn't like them. And I totally understand that. That's one I will be colouring in. Um, but yeah, definitely going to be colouring in that one in October. So we'll discuss October's colouring plan um, in the colouring catch-up when we finally get to it. Penultimate book, Night Magic by Selena Finette, Gothic and Halloween colouring book big fan of Selena Finette, got a lot of her books but no, by, by no means all of them, she's got another one out which I haven't got yet, um, I will be putting a lot of them on my Christmas list so I can try and complete my Fennec collection, um, but yeah again this is a stunning book, um, I've got Gothic and I've got Enchanted, I don't think I've got Fairy, I don't know, so you get two of these, of each of these, pictures which I quite like because again I can do them in more than one way that's quite lovely so there's some really nice ones in here I like that one let darkness fall and that's a cute little witch I'll probably do that one next month and of course I had to pick up Jade Summer Halloween colouring book this is a cute colouring book it's not a seriously scary one lots of cute little kittens and ghosts and ghouls and vegetables and a little witch and again this is one that I'm going to colour in and I'm going to then when I've done half the pages 
put it to one side and let Jennifer have it when she's a bit older. So those are all the books I have picked up recently. Um, I've got to be honest, there's going to be no more colouring hauls until after Christmas. Um, we've had a lot of expenses come, come in this last few weeks, including a new car. Um, I'm currently borrowing my dad's. Nursery fees have gone up. They also have been undercharging us. Again, I'll, I'll talk about all that in the colouring catch-up. I'm having my shed put up, so that was an expense. Something else. I had my eyes tested, but they're all right, so there's no problem with that. So I very much doubt I'll be picking up very many colouring books. I have got a Christmas one on order from Creative Haven. That's coming out on the 30th of November. That's when I should receive that. So at the end of October, I might buy a couple of books, but I won't be buying many. So I hope you've enjoyed this haul. Like I said, I'm going to do a flip through of a few of them, including the Jade Summer one. So if you want to see a flip through of any of the books mentioned, just leave me a comment down below. I will happily do one. Um, I'll update you on what's happened with the complete colouring book collection and completed pages in the colouring catch-up, which I hope to be filming really, really soon. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share. And if you're not a subscriber, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that when I upload a new video, you will get the notification of it and you'll be able to go and view it straight away, which I hope you will. So that's it from me today. I hope you've liked this little haul. I'll see you all soon. Bye.